Hi, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm going to be talking about how I sort of went into this Halloween thing here using Animate CC and Advanced Layers mode. First of all, let's actually watch the 13 second animation that I've created. Okay, so what we've got here are a number of different layers. We have a layer for the sky, and actually if I kind of scroll to the end here at 13 seconds, we can see exactly how this is set up. We have the sky here, and this is a movie clip symbol that just sort of goes from, uh, it's just a shape tween, right? So it just kind of goes through these different colors. And then we have these trees, which is its own specific layer, and it's just some trees that I grabbed from within the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application. And the next thing I have here is this sort of table that it's sitting on, the jack-o'-lantern and, and such. So these three bottom layers don't really do anything. They don't move that much. And if we open up the layer depth panel, we can see that really nothing is happening with these three. Um, they're all just at layer depth zero and they just kind of stay there. However, when we get to the gourd itself, the pumpkin face, the candle, which is the interior and the inner bits, um, this is a bit different. These are stacked a little bit differently. And if I expand my layer depth panel, we can see this a little bit better, especially as we jump across here. So you can see that I'm actually adjusting the layer depth of my camera as we go through here in order to sort of zoom in or zoom out rather from the candle out to the exterior of the jack-o'-lantern. And there's some neat parallax stuff going on here if we jump between six seconds and four seconds, you can see how that's working. And this is visible here as well. You can see that I've got the different pieces set at different layer depths so that they all sort of work together to create this nice effect. Now you'll notice as we go through and we've got different keyframes here in these motion tweens for my gourd and so forth, but you can actually go through and make adjustments to the layer depth across keyframes. So you can see here the gourd is at negative 180. And then here it's at negative 92, negative 96, and so forth. So this stuff can change. Uh, this is just another tweenable property inside of your Animate project. And basically all we have here is the gourd itself. So the gourd layer is the face of the jack-o'-lantern. And let's have a look at that. So that is just a shape, really. Um, it's a shape with pieces cut out for the eyes, nose, and mouth, as you would normally find with a pumpkin to make a jack-o'-lantern. If I hide that, and you can see that we have the inside of the jack-o'-lantern here. And that consists of this candle and so forth. So we've got the candle and we also have this nice shape right here, which has a gradient around it. So the gradient itself, if we look inside of our color panel here, it's going from this yellow color that you see to the same yellow color, but with an alpha property taken down to 0%. And that way we can actually see our candle and our flame flickering and also whatever's behind here. Now, if I kind of go and double click on this, we can see here's our flame animation. Let's go 400%. And you can see this just sort of weaves back and forth to make a nice little flame. Going back out to our root.
Let's go ahead and hide the candle. And here is our background, so our inner pumpkin, our inner gourd. If we double click here, we can see this is also a shape tween. And this just goes through and emulates what you would see with a flame inside of a jack-o'-lantern. And that's really all there is to it. Um, as we go through, obviously we hold the camera for two seconds, and then we just start animating it. And we animate the pan of the camera, and we animate the various layer depths, and title color, and so forth. And that's really about it. Um, when I finish this, all I did is go to File, and I exported this ActionScript 3.0 document as video. And here I was able to export it. And once exported, I can go ahead and convert it to an MP4. And that's what you've seen is the MP4 version. So I hope that's useful in understanding some of the subtle things you can do with layer depth, virtual camera, and advanced layers mode. And again, Happy Halloween.